Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. This video is going to be an introduction to buffing. It will not tell you everything you need to know about buffing, but it will get you started. The purpose for buffing is to clean or polish surfaces. Usually it's metal surfaces, but you can clean other things too. I'm going to start with the different types of buffing compound. This is called Red Rouge, and it's the finest buffing compound. This is the compound that you would use to give you the high polish before lacquering an instrument. And the next coarser one would be the white buffing compound. I usually use this one for polishing nickel plated surfaces like most clarinet keys and a lot of saxophone keys. You can also use this one on brass before you use the red rouge. The next one is called Tripoli and this has a very coarse grit. It's used if you want to remove lacquer or if there's heavy tarnish on a musical instrument that you want to remove quickly. And it also works well for smoothing out rough spots on brass instruments. You have to be careful with this one because it will remove plating very quickly, especially silver plating. If you use this on silver plating, the silver plating will be gone in just a couple seconds. There are two other types of buffing compound that I use not as often, but I do use them sometimes. This one is called emery, and it has a very coarse grit. I usually do not use this on musical instruments. I will usually use it on steel. If I have a tool that is rusted, I will buff off the rust with the emery. Another one is black buffing compound, and that's used on plastic and hard rubber surfaces. If you have a hard rubber clarinet or saxophone mouthpiece that has turned that kind of ugly greenish color, this one works well on restoring that back to its black color. Each of these different types of buffing compounds have their own wheels. You do not want to mix buffing wheels with the different types of compounds. And I write on them T for Tripoli, W for white, and R for red. There are many different types of buffing wheels, but these are the three that I use. This is called a razor wheel. It's very thin and it gets into the narrow places on instruments. I usually use this wheel with the Tripoli e or the white buffing compound. This one does not work as well with the red buffing compound because it does not polish very well. It's good for getting into small areas but not for polishing as much. The next one I use is like this one but about twice as thick. This one works well with the Tripoli e and Emery buffing compounds. This one works well at cleaning up the dirty surfaces over larger areas. The other one is good for polishing and it's usually used on the Red Rouge buffing compound and it's very loose. It works well for high polishing and to get things ready to lacquer. There are a lot of larger types of buffing machines but I use my bench motor and that works well for what I do in the shop. I do not do a lot of buffing. If I were to do a lot more buffing I would get a larger machine but this works well for what I use it for. Behind my bench motor I keep my spindle and that is used to hold the buffing wheels. So what I do is put the spindle in the bench motor and then I make sure I tighten it up. You want to make sure that this is tight so that it doesn't come loose while you're buffing. To get a buffing wheel on the spindle, you start up the motor for just a second then you let go and put that on there. And the buffing wheel is ready to go. I have a foot switch that I keep on the floor and that operates the bench motor. This bench motor has an RPM of about 1,700 and you do not want to go much faster than that when you are buffing. Some other supplies you will need are buffing gloves. You will want one set for the Red Rouge and one other set of buffing gloves for all the other types of buffing compound. You will also want a buffing rake. This cleans out the wheels and it also helps to prepare the wheels the first time you use them. One other very important supply when you buff is safety glasses. Often when you buff, parts can go flying, especially clarinet keys, and you will want safety glasses. One last supply is wicking material. This is usually used for kerosene lamps. Now what I use this for is to get into small areas. If you cannot get to an area with a buffing wheel, like for example the in-between valve casings and things like that, you can buff by hand in between those areas with wicking material. And I have different ones for all of the different types of buffing compounds. Buffing wheels do get worn down after a while. This buffing wheel used to be the same size as this one. This is how you prepare a buffing wheel when you use it for the first time. You put it on there and then you take the rake and you do that with it. 
Then you put some buffing compound on it. In this case, I'm using the white buffing compound. And then you put it on the sides of the wheel also. And then use the rake again. And this does make a mess. Okay, this wheel is ready to use now. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos and also look in the description below for links to other videos on buffing.